So let me put y'all boys on game of what we're trying to do. We ain't just at this orientation and have fun now. We got three goals of what we're trying to do. The first step is to post a trailer of what we're trying to accomplish at AT, my purpose to be in there and get posted on the school's roll call page. The second step is to find fellow athletes and influencers to work with, find some inspiring people trying to do what I do. And the third step is to leave confident knowing the people at AT understand my goal and what I'm trying to accomplish. Y'all heard the first step, so it's time to get into it. Oh, yes, sir. Y'all boys, we just pulled up to the hotel, man. I'm excited, bro. Next step, if you guys don't already know, is get posted on the ANT page. And this is the video that I'm about to throw up. My name is Cameron Joseph, and I'm an athlete and influencer out of South Florida. And I'm here to introduce myself to y'all, let y'all know what I plan to do at ANT. There's a new wave of athletes going to HBCUs, and that's a wonderful thing. I sent the video to the ANT account, and I sent the paragraph that I want. Let's just see what the, what they do. Let's see what happens. And I'll update y'all what happens next. 24 hours later. Later. So it's the morning. We just woke up in this spot. It's 5:53 a.m. They reposted it. I got love for it, and a couple other influencers hit me up, athletes, and that's that's exactly what we wanted. And it's going all according to plan. So that's step one complete. The next step is to network with some athletes and influencers, and that's that's where the problem is. We got to get that under control, cause like, bro, talking to people, real life, like, come on, man. Just came out of COVID like two years ago. After all of that, it was time to eat breakfast and get ready to head over to A&T, man. That food tasted good. That hotel breakfast hit different. But after all that, it was time to head over to the school's campus. We caught an Uber there, and man, was that line long, bro. I got kind of lost, and it was kind of confusing on where I was supposed to go. After trying to figure out where we were supposed to be for 10 minutes, we finally found the dorm I was supposed to stay in, which was Cooper. I'm not going to say too much about Cooper. If you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, after that, this happened. Dog, tell me how we got in the wrong line, bro. You've got to be kidding me, bro. Now we got to run, bro. Basically, let me explain it to you guys in this way. I was all the way at Corbett, and I'm supposed to be at the student center, and that student center is where I'm supposed to get my ID and information so I can enter Corbett and do what I need to do. But I had to go late in this really long line to get my student ID, and I took my picture, and it came out pretty nice. And Corbett actually got pretty lit. All I'm saying is, we do this. So let me explain what's going on. My school, North Carolina a and our mascot is an Aggies. And these people, these ASLs are getting us hyped so that we can enjoy this orientation. Let me tell you guys, this is the biggest orientation in school history. There's 800 people here right now. And this is crazy because there's basically four orientations. That's basically like one fourth of our class. We were trying to get lit for this orientation. I'm trying to show y'all the HBCU experience in and out, man. At this point, it just gets better from here. <laughs> So basically the ASLs began introducing themselves and they are cool, man. They were a big part to this orientation being lit. And the next thing we see was how amazing the HBCU can be because we then started seeing the HBCU dances. <laughs> them dances are so much fun it is crazy how everybody knows them by heart the sad part for me is i didn't do a single one of these dances i have a confession to make to y'all i can't dance i literally try like i'm too stiff i got no rhythm and i'm hoping that hbc will fix this man after this we then went through some boring stuff they spoke to us about a couple things we played a couple games and then we went straight to lunch but while we were on our way to lunch some people wanted to get in the video so i had to show them some love uh, it's not recording yet oh, you gotta say something. Oh, shit. What's good? We out here in and so for the latest one. You lock me up. Jam the shit out. Listen, y'all, when you're a football player, even a football YouTuber, there's always those people that think they can lock you up, bro. I don't know what it is, but people just love challenging you. You gonna bro. lock me up? We gonna have to bro, see. Bro, we got, we have to see. Bro, we got nine months from school, bro. We, we, we gonna get this shit on film, bro. We gonna need to get this man some cleats. All I, all I need is three warm ups and I'm good. That's all you need? I'm back. Mm. And I'm good. And when I got to lunch, I met a group of very interesting people. Wall. It's nice architecture. <laughs> Let me introduce y'all to Gray. This man is hilarious. While this lady was literally talking to us this entire time, this man was vlogging. He gives off very similar energy to Kai Sinek. And y'all gonna see in this next clip how funny he truly is. Hey, how you doing? You show me my YouTube video? It's a vlog. <laughs> Tell me your name. No. <laughs> your camera show? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Show me your name. I'm Tamia. Show me your fit. What you got on? Okay. Okay. All right. 
Have a nice day. Gray actually posted a full YouTube video like this. So if y'all want to go check out his YouTube channel, link in the description below. So I stuck around with these group of guys all the way to lunch. And once we got there, it got even funnier, bro. Remember, remember I always say, oh, that girl over there is looking sad. My dog's about to get her some ice cream to make her day. All right, so let me catch y'all boys up. Basically, my boy Devo saw this girl sad sitting on the stairs by herself. He basically decided to go get her ice cream to make her day feel better. And <laughs> you won't believe what happened next. How y'all boys think she gonna react? She gonna take it? She gonna take it all right. Oh. Oh, hell. What's up with this guy, bro? Hey, you think she gonna accept the ice cream? Hell no. Nah. You think she gonna accept it? Hell yeah. Yep. I mean, I think she gonna accept it too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can follow me on YouTube at J Smooth J. We do not care. So my dog Devo actually snapped. He brought her the ice cream. She got up and went with them. We thought he was successful, and then this happened. Damn. 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 Basically, when Devo got over there, he asked if those girls have a portable. They said yes, but in exchange, he has to be their personal slave. What? He had to give them his phone, and he had to give them the password, and his keys. And he agreed! What happened? to the original plot of the movie. Yes, my dog went out sad, but the good thing is he actually makes music. So if you want to go give it a listen, go check it out. And it's safe to say we completed step two. It was now time to head to the orientation party. I put that drink in my cup because I pray that one day that my niggas get bigger. I'm going to be gone by the morning. I swear that's my baby. I'll never forget her. It was now time to have some fun, bro. And one thing about them HBCU parties, they get lit. After we got settled, some very interesting things started to happen. May I remind you guys, although we are in college, we will not display such activities. We still represent Christ around here and we'll keep it PG. And after those events, they had a dance battle. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all, but this man in the red shirt was getting us so hype, bro. That man straight snap, bro. Me and Jay Smooth was going crazy. I ain't never went that crazy over another man. Oh, oh hell no, man. No hate to this girl, but literally half of those girls were doing the same move to hips, the ones we see on TikTok. It's like, bro, do y'all not know how to dance? Like, like, come on. After all the dancing, we then did the famous HBCU swag surf. <laughs> After that, the Greeks did their dance, and it was now time to head to the second party. The second party was nowhere near as much fun as the first. So after the second party, we headed back to the dorms and chilled for a bit. After that, we then headed to bed and got ready to leave the next day. Honestly, with confidence, I can say I completed step three. This orientation was amazing. I can't wait for August. Till then, if y'all want to know my story and where I came from, click this video right here. Till then, I'll see you, A&T.